Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Wright, a tear consultant, audiologist and director of Clewax. We have here a very interesting case of a patient with a very, very narrow ear canal. And um, they've been referred to me from another specialist uh, because of the ear anatomy. I'm just using the wax scope, putting the wax scope through its paces here. And um, I firstly attached our standard size 4.25 millimeter specular. However, because of the narrowness of the ear, I reverted to the 3.5 mil specular, which is our smaller specular. And even then, it is a very tight, tight squeeze to get in here. And this patient's ear canal, um, it's fully occluding right from the entrance all the way to the eardrum. So it's a substantial amount of earwax present. And it's got a bit of a sticky consistency. Um, I think I'm going to put some olive oil spray in here. Uh, we've got a really exciting announcement to make on um, some ear care um, products that uh, I'm, I'm working and affiliated with, with an ear care brand. And hopefully in the next week or so, you'll be hearing much more about that. And you can see here the, the, the olive oil spray has really helped to just loosen and bind this wax together. And slowly but surely we're removing this uh, really occluded and impacted dark earwax out of the ear. You can see there's a, it's a coating of keratin around the perimeter of this plug. So this dead skin, you can see it's enveloped itself. You can see that glossiness there. Um, the wax scope, we're just hoping, uh, we, we haven't got an exact, we've had so much interest, so uh, thank you for everyone who's expressed their interest. You are on our mailing list, so don't worry. Um, we're hoping to launch in the next four, four weeks, if truth be told, but there's just a slight delay with our tooling for the speculum. Um, there's this global supply chain issues at the moment, so we are working very hard, and we will update you as soon as we've got uh, a, a kind of... Um, a, a date that we can stand by and uh, a, a true launch date um, but I anticipate it is hopefully going to be behind by the end of this year uh, if not far sooner so um, if you are interested in the Waxscape please do email info at clearwax.co.uk and we can add you to our mailing list so we're getting further and further into the ear this wax is really really dark as you can see there's some skin there so you can uh, just gives you some perspective. This is a really narrow speculum, and even then, uh, the ear is so narrow. But I'm very pleased we managed to do this procedure with the wax gate because these are the really uh, challenging ones when you've got a really narrow, bendy ear canal, and it's not going to be many ears that are narrower than this this patient's ear. And the wax has been there for a while. You can tell uh, by the colour. It's oxidised. It's matured. And when it oxidizes, so you can see here, I've just gone a bit further in with the speculum. I've really dilated this ear canal. Uh, initially, uh, there wasn't really a requirement to do that, but I really just wanted to widen this so we can get the speculum a bit further into the ear. It's just blocking up the, the sucker there. So I just put a bit more olive oil spray. Again, I'm just dilating the ear canal. And... Again, the oil has a really amazing effect with, with this type of wax. It just helps to lubricate it, bind it together. It lubricates the inside of the sucker as well, so it prevents it getting blocked. And that's probably a good view there of the patient's ear canal, how narrow it was. You can see I'm just, you probably saw me at the same time, just stretch it open. I think this may be the last plug or two. And it's just got trapped. So as we're coming away, uh, it's just got trapped near this narrow entrance. The ear canal's collapsed upon the wax. So just need to clear that passage. And again, it's just going to... Just having a bit nosy around. There's a bit of soft wax around the perimeter. We're not overly concerned by that. Uh, it's just a bit there near the entrance. I'll adjust the focus and you'll see. We'll just remove that bit. The ear is quite wet and damp. We put loads of drops in. The patient had been using drops himself. So, what we're the objective is to clear the ear canal, which we have, and we can see the eardrum. It's a nice clear view there. You'll see that in a moment. Again, just mopping up near the entrance. And that's this all surface wax. We're just going to adjust the focus now, so we can see the eardrum. There we are. Got a nice clear view there. So really pleased with that. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you are interested in the Waxscope, um, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you.